Well, automation is good to a point, I imagine, um, when you're thinking about your workforce, certainly saving costs. You think any, pretty much any job then can be automated. Um, and we're already seeing, you know, there's, there's certainly early on, we we're talking about the manufacturing jobs and blue collar jobs and truck drivers. And uh, now we're talking about white collar jobs and you know, the data scientists out there. Um, we're already seeing it in healthcare. Um, talk about job displacement. Um, what are you seeing right now? So reporters are safe. Good reporters are safe. So do you, you uh, no, 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 no. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> good, good report. Fake so, media. Yeah. So maybe one, one, one question. I, one question I've been asked a lot is, what, what can AI do? So um, I'll give you an imperfect rule of thumb, um, uh, which is today, right? In, in the future, things will change. But today, one rule of thumb is, I think almost anything that a typical person can do with less than one second of mental thought. I think we can either now or in the very near future automate with AI. There are a lot of tasks that can be accomplished by stringing together many tasks at one second. So for example, a security guard monitoring security footage, they have a pretty complex job, but their job maybe can be broken down into a lot of smaller tasks, which are these one second of cognitive thinking. So a lot of the art and skill in figuring out where to insert AI is to recognize the business opportunities where you have a complex system, but a lot of these one second tasks that you might be able to string together um, automatically. Yeah, I, I think that we're not going to automate all human jobs anytime in the near future. But I do think that people are going to be surprised at how fast machine learning is going to displace routine jobs. That's true. Uh, and I think that we need to start planning now. How fast for are those. we talking? Well, we're, to we're talking about uh, a transition that's going to occur over the next 10 to 15 years that is really significant. I mean, the Oxford Martin School did a study of this, of routine jobs and the vulnerability to displacement by machine learning over the next 10 to 20 years. And they concluded that 47% of US jobs would be vulnerable. And then they did a deeper analysis. And it turns out to be higher in some cities than in others in the US. And they extended their analysis to the globe. And they concluded that developing countries have an even higher percentage of routine jobs where the vulnerability to automation could be as high as 60 to 85%. Now that is a very big deal. It could be destabilizing. And, and for that reason, I think that we need to invest heavily in free education for people uh, and also uh, various schemas for doing a basic income. There are lots of disagreements about what the optimal plan would be, but I think the important thing is for us to be proactive and to sort of get ahead of this trend uh, before uh, it comes back to bite us.